extremely passionate and totally committed to excellence. You see everything, even the music production, the sound, everything, he looked at everything. And that is why he was hugely successful. And so for young ones, as you try to live your life and plan, you, you, you need to identify some role models, some people you like, you know, based on certain things. But for me, ultimately, there are basic things you must do, you know, as an aspiring entrepreneur or any a successful human being in life, not an entrepreneur. Hard work is key. Discipline is very, very important. Passion. You must be extremely passionate about what you do. And of course, our lady talked about intelligence, both emotional and social intelligence, very, very important. Resilience and thinking long term, in long term, because short term, there are so many challenges you encounter in short term. And at times also, short term successes, you just retire, you just, okay, have it and it's all about. If you think long term, you're disciplined, you're focused, you're hardworking, you're passionate about what you do, you will almost likely succeed. And of course, you know, for success, one factor must be given is, is assumed, and that is God. You know, so once there's God and you do all this, and I believe strongly that you succeed. So, my message to you as you ask about the book is good to read books. It can be autobiography, it can be fiction. As you read, for me, when I read, I don't just read for fun or entertainment, I read to see what I can learn from it. If I read a book, you know I've read a book. <laughs> you know I've read a book. If I'm reading, I'm putting myself, I'm continuing, I'm so how this person, so it's always very important, it helps. It's for me one of the best ways to teach yourself. And also, look around us and see people who have, you know, I like to, both good and bad, you watch certain people, you know, as they succeed, you know, even people who have caused havoc to the world. There are certain things they possess. Even some, if somebody can tell someone to commit suicide and you go and kill yourself, what level of leadership is that? You know, strong <laughs> leadership. That someone who, yes, you work with someone to the point that you can even commit suicide. It's also, there's something to learn from it. So for me, learning occurs everywhere, every time, from reading, from watching others, from seeing how things are happening in the world, you learn a lot from me. So the person who asked that question is good because we need to keep refreshing ourselves and keep modeling how we want our life to be.